G'day, Andy here from Calca. Today we're looking at stage two of the build process, which is framed. Once the slab has been poured and the site has been cleared, we are ready to start the timber framing. The first step is for marking out the ground floor frames onto the slab, which is done using a chalk line. We get these measurements from the measurements outlined on the floor plans. Just prior to the wall frames being stood in place, we get the second stage of the termite barrier system installed. This sits under the timber frames on top of the perimeter slab to protect the home from potential termite attack. Most of our timber frames are put together off-site and are delivered to the job in large packs. They are then put together by our frame carpenters in accordance to the design layout. This type of installation practice is called pre-nailed framing. Depending on the complexity of the build, we also may opt to build the frames ourselves on site, which is commonly known as stick framing. This process does take more time to complete, so the use of pre-nail frames is a far more time effective way to construct. Each of the frames are made up of vertical and horizontal members, which gives the home its structural integrity. The vertical members are called studs, and the horizontal members are plates and noggings. In order to achieve our free-flowing, open living designs, we also use structurally designed steel beams and columns to support the structure to keep an open area free of excess wall frames. Once the lower frames and the structural floor members are complete, we install the floor system, which is an engineered designed floor structure, which is made up of a series of laminated beams and floor joists. You will notice the floor joists have pre-cut holes which allow for the air conditioning ducting to pass through without altering the structural integrity of the joist, all while staying concealed within the floor space. The particle board flooring is glued and fixed to the top of the joists, which will allow the upper floor set out to begin. The same process applies to the upper floor frame installation as the lower section, with the frames being marked out and installed to the measurements outlined on the floor plan. The frames will be temporarily braced with long timber members to allow for roof trusses to be craned up and into position, ready for the sheet metal roof to be installed once the frames have been passed and certified. Throughout the framing process, we will tie down the home as we proceed. This is to ensure that the frame is kept strong and secure, to withstand uplift and strong wind loads from any direction. Ply bracing sheets, long steel threaded rod, and a range of nailing plates are installed in accordance with the engineer's design to prevent the structure from excessive movement in the future. It is at this point, before our frame carpenters are finished, we will walk through a series of final checks before the building certifier inspects the frame. Once he is happy that the frame is installed to the relevant details and construction codes, they will issue a certificate that the frame is complete and we are clear to proceed. The timber framing is the most important part of the build process as it is the major supporting backbone of the home, so it's very important to get it right. Here at Calca, our skilled tradespeople and quality material supply will ensure that you have a structure that is built to last. The next stage of construction is roof install and rough ends. 